I'm Old Sneelock. Welcome to another episode of Old Sneelock's Workshop. In the last video, I put the Jacob's Chuck into some Evaporust. Now this is Evaporust that's been around five years sitting in a bucket underneath the bench and it's used. So we'll see just exactly how well it does. I think I got enough to cover it. Oh yeah. I'm going to cover this jar just because I don't want it going bad on me. We'll let that sit for a while. We're going to take that Jacob's Chuck out of the Evaporust and see just exactly what it looks like. Maybe we'll find out a little bit more about it too. Jacob's Chuck is set in the bath overnight. Hmm, a rather heavy layer of sediment in the bottom of the jar. Yep, look at that. Basically, it's mud. Now we'll get out our tongs here. See if we can fish this thing out. Careful of that, I don't want to break this thing. It smells like pickles. That is a pleasant surprise, and I was kind of concerned that the Stuff was going to have turned again. Using this little unrecognizable bit of green scratch bright to polish up the side of the chuck jaws. Now we'll hit him with a little bit of the duck. Dirt and dust resistant dry lube PTFE spray. It would help if I put it together in the right direction. Well, that works quite well. In, out, just like it's supposed to. So Jacob's Chuck number 64-J9, eighth inch capacity on up through half inch capacity. What exactly does that do?
it is designed to go on the end of an impact wrench. You can use it to drive all manner of things. Now this poor old impact has seen better days. The ring on the end of it is worn down to the point where it no longer grips the socket. Still is a heck of an impact, but it went about 20 years at the foundry and then it's been, now well, let's see, 22 years in my employ. I don't use it much, but it does a nice job of taking wheel nuts off. So that's what this is for. It's designed to go on impact drivers, which is, explains why it's such a heavy duty piece of equipment. This Chicago pneumatic impact driver will put out tremendous amount of powder. The Evaporus did a good job of cleaning up the parts, so I'm quite pleased. Did have more problem uh, cleaning out the threads on the inside just because they were so filled up with sediment that I uh, had to go in there with a wire brush and clean them out. It was more uh, grease, grimy, crap stuff than rust. I think I need to get another quart. If you have any suggestions for a new video, questions about today's video, or any of the other videos on the channel, just drop a note in the comments. You know, I rate them all. Thanks for watching. YouTube tells me that 95% of you guys visit more than once. But now, 16.9% of you guys are subscribers that are watching the videos. That's great. Let's keep it up. Any of you new guys, go ahead and click the subscribe button. Don't forget to ring the bell. That'll get you notified when the next video is up. Every day at noon, Monday through Friday, and on Saturday and Sunday, they're 9 a.m. in the morning because, you know, we all get up early and don't have anything to do first thing on Saturday and Sunday.